Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Neo AI. In this video, I will guide you on how to set up and start using Neo AI in your Unreal Engine project. First, we will need to sign in. You can use either your GitHub account or your Discord account to do that. I will use my other Discord account, which has no access to Neo AI, to show you the dashboard as you will see it. And here is the Neo AI dashboard. Here, you will find notifications from the team in your account controls with quick actions bar. There are more updates, along with documentation and a support page at the bottom. The documentation page has guides and various information on AI costs, usage, and best practices. It's worth a look before you start using it. Let's continue with the setup to start using Neo AI. There is currently no free plan, contrary to what is written. It should be labeled no plan, as you need a subscription to use Neo AI. Later, there will be options to use Neo AI on your local GPU to reduce costs, but I believe it will still require a subscription to the service. Now, if you're familiar with what Neo AI is and want to try it, proceed to the payment processor to purchase your plan. I won't guide you through this, as it follows a standard payment process. Now, I will switch to my account that has a Neo AI subscription. Here I have a pro plan subscription. So let me show you how to start using Neo AI in your Unreal project. First, go to the plugins page and download the plugin. At the time of recording, there is only the 5.6 engine plugin version, but later versions for older engines will also be available. I already downloaded it, so I will cancel the download and open the previous download archive. Here we have the plugin folder, which we need to add to our Unreal Engine project. If your project doesn't have a plugins folder, Create one and extract the archive contents into the plugins folder. Make sure the project is not open in the editor at that time. Now you can open your project. Then, when the project opens, go to Project Settings and find the Neo AI Settings tab. Here we will need to fill in our keys from the Neo AI dashboard. So, let's go back to the dashboard and create our project in the Projects tab. You will need to fill in some information but don't overthink it. You can use any name. It doesn't need to match your Unreal project name. The description is also optional. System rules are also optional, but if needed, you can type various custom instructions for your project. For example, you might specify not to use enums if you don't want the AI to generate them for some reason. I will keep it blank for this project. If everything looks good, press Create Project to finalize it. Once the project is created, you'll have your project key generated. We will need to use that in the Neo AI project settings. Copy and paste it in Project ID field. Now, the only thing left is to create our API key. Treat it like a password and do not share it with anyone. I will delete my example key after recording. The key name can be anything. For project access, you can use this key for a specific project or for all projects. Lastly, for expiration time. If you want your keys to expire for safety reasons, you can set an expiration time here or choose to set it to never expire. This is the most important part. Copy your API key here and now, where you will need to generate a new key as there is a UI bug that prevents copying it correctly from the dashboard later. Paste your API key in the Neo AI Settings tab under the API key field. Once everything is set up, press the Neo AI icon in the toolbar. If it's turned green, you connected. To access the chat window, go to the menu bar, select Tools, and then find Neo AI Chat within the tools. You can keep it as is or drag it to a comfortable place for you. As you can see, I'm not sure where to put it, so I will keep it as a separate tab for now. Now let's go over the Neo AI chat window. Here we will have all our previous conversations stored. Currently, I have none. In this corner, we select the model we want to use. Premium is the most expensive model, so be wary when using it at it can ramp and cost fast. Preferably use the standard or light models. If you feel those aren't bringing the results you want, then try the premium model. The graph setting is here to establish the blueprint logic for the best results. If it's for general use, select the graph agent. But if you want to fill in data tables with data, use data management, etc. 
The name seemed to be self-explanatory. The last part is to set Neo AI's behavior. Do you want it to execute what you typed or just ask a question? Chat mode is disabled at this time because many people instruct the AI to generate things while in chat mode. So keep this in mind. If you set it to execute, Neo will generate blueprints. And if you set it to chat, it will act like a chatbot and just answer your question. Finally, it's time to tell Neo AI to do something. I used light mode, graph, and execute, instructing Neo to generate an actor named Test and to print a string on the begin play event of that actor. This is for testing purposes to see if everything works, as this is a setup guide and not a showcase of complex use cases. Depending on the complexity of the task, it may take some time to finish. However, if you see the thinking message from Neo AI, it means the process has started. If it begins to send progress updates, then the setup is complete and everything is working. You can freely navigate the editor while Neo AI is doing its thing. Let's find where it created the actor I asked it to create. I was expecting to see it in the initial creation message, but it seems there was none. But as Neo finished its task, he wrote path where it was generated. And here is the test actor blueprint with the print string on begin play. Lastly, I want to share some tips and tricks for using Neo AI as well as some known issues with the chat UI. Don't forget, it's still in beta. When you close the chat window and reopen it, the previous history seems to be gone. However, you just need to click the refresh icon to see past conversations. The current suggestion is to open a new chat for each message, as the previous chat can cause UI issues. Depending on when you watch it, it can be fixed. You can also delete chats one by one or delete all chat history if needed. As powerful as Neo AI is, some things might break or not work. To stay updated with developments, make sure to be part of the Neo AI Discord to stay informed about the latest changes, fixes, server issues, and more. To track your usage and costs, go to the Neo AI dashboard's billing and subscriptions page and press View Usage. Here you will see each of your messages' cost and some details. One more thing to consider is setting the maximum cost per query limit, which can be found in the dashboard under Manage Billing and AI Settings. As stated in the information, costs can vary by model. For some models, you may want to increase the limit to avoid canceled query in progress when it reaches the maximum cost limit. Models will become cheaper and better over time, but currently, some queries can cost a dollar or more. However, if the AI completes a task successfully, the money spin is worth it as it saves you hours of work that would take much longer to do manually. Also, in the coming week, there will be ways to use it even cheaper by using your own Gemini key. Stay tuned in Discord for updates. This concludes a quick start guide. Remember, it's in beta. If something doesn't work as expected, it will be fixed and improved. This tool is still in development, and your early adoption will help it improve even more.